These are good. These are very, very good. If you're looking for 100% wireless and solar powered security, these are very, very good. Let's get in and let's get a product review done on these wonderful bits of security for you. Time for a quick product review from a company called CamCamp, who I have used some of their security cameras in the past and they are still in use to this very day. Um, but they've sent over a new camera for me to look at and it's the SC05 security camera. And basically this is the box it comes in and you've got some details on the box. So it's all well packaged and let's say this is on the front and then what we'll do we're going to dive in and show you what actually comes in the box and there's something really unusual with this security camera system that I have not come across before so super excited to show you this um, because this can change the dynamics sort of of security cameras anyway right in the box we've got some screws and raw plugs and screws and raw plugs for mounting plates for the cameras we've got not one not two but we've actually got three usb a's to usb c um, charging cables for the cameras and this comes with a base station as well which we're going to do we have got a instruction book and in here boom, 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 if i can find it and put my hands on it which probably not straight away but anyway there's a qr code um there's a qr code in here for the um the cloud i364 app what you need to install to um oh there we go I, I knew i knew there was a qr code in here i've already got this app on my phone so we're going to be able to add it onto an existing system that we've got so yeah how simple is that and if you notice it's quite a big booklet it's a5 um with very clear instructions and we've got a usb charge plug which is a uk plug and what am i going to show you here now we've got an ethernet cable um it says it's a cat5 or an rg45 um which I'll explain in a minute why you need this. And there is, let's, let's have a look at the cameras. So we've got two cameras. I've got this little cutie baby here. I want to say there was something very unusual about this. So it's got like this sw swivel little mount here. So you can screw the camera on, as you can see the screw holes here, on, onto the wall and mount it. Uh, you could mount it upside down and you see it's got this ball joint on it so when you want to look at things but did you just see then but you know what it's not a ball joint watch this it's a very very strong magnetic base um i have not come across a security camera like this before so um if you want to be able to install something very quick and simple and then be able to remove it quickly and simply look at that how cool is that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to show you i'm going to show you the back of here in a minute i'll explain why then we've also got uh, another camera with the little rabbit ears and so it's still got the protective covering on and i've just taken out this uh, little rubber grommet because here you've got your reset your power button on um and where you would charge the cable and this is wall mountable as you can see here and if you slacken it off you can move the camera about but it does also come complete with a secondary mount if you did need it um so as i say this rubber grommet comes out to set up the camera because there's a reset button it all sits back inside and then you've got another secondary bit here to undo and that's where you would charge up the camera which has got a fantastic long battery life right we'll come back to we'll come back to this camera 
and it has a solar panel. We're going to come to this again in a minute, not one moment. Then we've also got the base station. So this has got, if you see, that's got a slight little bit of orange stuffing on it. Sorry, I need to remove it. It's off the plastic packaging. So when it came in, it's a bit of the ink was rubbed off. So in case you wonder what's going on with that. So this has got the base station. And basically what you need to do is we've got a charge cable is going to go in here. Hence the plug and the lead. Your ethernet cable goes into here and then that will then go into the back of your router. Um, you've got a slot there for a micro SD card. Then you've got your sync button on here and you've got a, an array of LED lights which will give you um, status of the connection and the cameras. I'm just going to just take this little rubber mount off here. I just need, oh, there we go. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. So on the back of this camera here, you don't need to put an SD card in here because it's going to record the files onto the base station. Okay. And as well as recording locally onto an SD card, you do have also cloud storage if you wanted it. So on the solar panel that we've got, oh, I beg your pardon, sorry, I have made a booby here actually. So I beg, sorry, this, this, this mount, I beg your pardon, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Neil, I should know better. Is actually for the solar panel, which I'll show you. See, I'll do a good honest review. And I could have edited out my error and I've, and I've left it in. So the solar charge basically clips. It's, see, it's got the type C on the back here. It clips into here once the camera is all set up. And then you can then mount your solar panel somewhere um, for the camera. So I just, I thought that that, that was quite a nifty little addition uh, and as I say, when we come to set this up, I'll show you. I'll take it out. I'll take. I'll take it out and show you. Right. So in here, we've also got mounts. So I beg your pardon. So the the way this works, if you, if you can un undo, and then basically the solar mount clips onto here, and so you have got full versatility on this one so i am going to actually set this up inside my caravan um and when you're looking at security cameras like these it's not just about a house or a home if you've got a boat or a canal boat if you've got a wi-fi facility on some kind of a router so in my caravan, I've got, I'll, I'll show you in a little bit more details. I have a portable um, 4G stroke 5G router, which gives me internet access. You do not need to have paid for fiber or anything like that. You, you, as long as you can connect these to your network, you'll be fine, which you'll see shortly. So ideal for a boat, a caravan, a motorhome, your home, your office, a warehouse, a farm, a garage, even a small holding. And if your location has not got Wi-Fi, have a look at the router what I'm going to show you in a minute, which is not part of this. But you can, you, as long as you can get power to a router and you can use a battery bank and, and solar, you've got loads of ways to do this. So super excited. I'm going to be taking this over to my caravan. We're going to set it up. Keep watching and come with me while we do this. And if you want more information, there are links down there below in the description on how you can buy this. And if you're looking for more technical things, um, follow those links. What a quick, easy and simple security system for you. OK, so here we have the base station plugged into a plug by the USB. This in turn plugs into the back here. The LAN cable, the Ethernet cable, then is plugging in to the back of a router. 
Now I explained earlier that you don't need a fiber optic or anything like that router. This particular router here has actually got a SIM card in it. So if you're looking for security where maybe you haven't got a phone line or an internet fiber optic line coming in, this is the way I've got this all set up here. And that's showing that we're connected up to the net. We've got two cameras connected. This is a sync button. So on the cameras, basically once you've charged them, and it's very, very important to charge your cameras, you'll hold the reset button down, power on, power off, hold the sync button, and everything will handshake. So what we'll do now, I'll just show you quickly how I've temporarily got my cameras mounted. So here is the camera that we showed earlier. So we've got the ears up and here's the lens on the camera. So that now is looking over here. And so this is just as a demonstration. So you've got the tilt and everything that you can do on this camera. And then this camera here, we've got connected up to the solar panel. So the solar can be moved into any direction. This is on a magnet, so this can be moved anywhere into whatever position. And then the solar is plugging into the back of the camera here. So you can see how very easy and versatile the whole system is. And as I was explaining before, once you've got the mounting plates into position, in fact, let me give you a demonstration of something here. So this is the camera released now. This is without it plugged into the solar. But if you imagine now you had a caravan or a motorhome or a canal boat or anything like that, you could have the mounts onto the side of your van, one for the solar, and one for the camera. The camera is literally, it's just pulled off. So if you wanted to use the camera just on holiday, where you didn't want the solar, it's magnetic, so it's quick and easy to pull. Or you could just literally put the camera on, screw on the solar as you needed it, and you've actually got yourself a mobile security system. This is so compact and neat. And as I say, you've also got the speakers so you can set off alarms and the communications with the camera. Okay, so this is showing you the app. So down here, you can see you can pay for paid storage or you can have your own storage on a micro SD card. So you do not have to pay any sort of subscription. We've got an event button here, which will show you any triggers that the cameras um, set off. We've got a number of presets here that we can set if we wanted to. And the more option shows um, some other things. So we can set it onto a cruise view. We've got the auto night vision set. We can set a siren and things like our photo albums. This is giving the display here of the cameras. So you can add up to four cameras. And on this system, we've got one and two. And you can see the quality of the images will come a bit better in a moment. The settings button here is where we can manage things. So we've got channel one. We've, I've called this camera two. The base station is connected. You've got motion detection alerts if you wanted them. And you've got the motion detector, uh, detection sensitivity and the um, period you want it so we've got this on all day you've got the push message um, notifications you've got the recording settings um, of different things that you can do here then you can see this to do optional battery life and things like this Let's cancel on that and so i'm just going to go through here screen and sound recordings we've got here that we've got auto night you can have it on auto on and things like this. Um, oh, you've got some more advanced settings here. That's just giving us um, things. So it's saying that we've got a medium, 
signal strength for where the camera is and I'll just click cancel on there and then what we can do we can flick and look at one of the cameras here this will bring up a live view and then we can if we wanted to click the maximum button here and we can now see other things so up here we've got the uh, battery the signal strength we've got um, a zoom that we can do we can double tap to go back so if we went to this camera here we can pinch and squeeze if you watch this watch so in the minute if we look at my chair just give you some idea we can set an alarm we can push to talk we can take a snapshot or a video go back to here and this is the um the other camera this has now got a live view as you can see and again if we wanted to zoom in we can do so and again you've got all these other options here and we mentioned before you've got your push the talk button down here so what i'll do in a in a day or two i'll come back and get some actual footage from the cameras and we'll give you um a verdict on what we think of it after we've actually tried them out so keep watching and coming up next fingers crossed will be some clips that the uh, the cameras have recorded well, we aren't going to get any intruders inside the van we never say never we may get a pigeon or um, another bird or maybe a rabbit on the camera the magnetic camera and we are going to leave this recording for a couple of days and um, just get a few random clips just picking up me because all being well we aren't going to get any intruders inside the van we we'll never say never we may get a pigeon or um oh well it's the camera picking up a possible intruder although my pitch is all fully fenced so um So you've had a bit of a review. You've had some sh very short clips there. Say that I've had these on my uh, pitch where I work um, and everything. But if you're looking for security, the CamCamp SCO5 security system, 100% wireless, easy to set up, literally dead easy to set up. Um, you've got the color night mode you've got the intelligent motion detection you've got two-way audio remote access by the cloud 360 app um you've got the led lights the ip65 weatherproof and there are loads of links down there in the description below if you want more information remember the little ears pick up on these and look, you, you can move these about. These are actually connected to the app at the moment. These are actually now transmitting over to us. So ideal, not just for your home, but for your boat, your caravan, your motorhome, your office, your warehouse, your farm, your garage, or your small holding. 
As I say, if you want more information and you want to buy these, do check out the links down there below. And thanks ever so much for watching.